Hi folks, and welcome back to Conan Exiles. This is episode 39 of the Beginner's Guide 2324 series, and in this episode we're going to continue on our Dungeon Delver journey after taking a, a little break from it previously, and we're going to do the last dungeon on the on the journey step, which is the Wine Cellar. Potentially one of the most dangerous, hardest dungeons. Certainly the last boss is very dangerous and uh, easy to slip up on. But we're going to do that today, and that takes place just behind Conan's Tavern here. So here we are in Sepa Maru, all the way over here. And we are actually inside Conan's Tavern. There's Conan there, and there's the princess that used to be up at Meskimos' Spire. And we need to leave here and go around the back. We've been in here before, because I think we've been in here for Seth's Truncheon. It's also a place where you can get Relic Hunter Treasure Seekers from. And it's this door at the back here. You see it pops up with Enter. If you go around the back of the dungeon. Uh, Delincia, are you going to come over here? I do find it helps if she's lined up with the building a bit when you, when you go in. Otherwise it causes a bit of an issue with her spawning in. Like this. Where is she? Come on, in you come. Let's try the whole stop. Stop again. Right thing. Nope, not quite yet. Tell you what, we'll take on. Let me get my helmet on. Let me eat one of the solid pork. Get my boost up. She's still not appeared yet. Let's take on Seth. Down he goes. Do we get no truncheon? Uh, numbing wraps, fur, advanced weapon repair kit, yeah, and a bunch of booze. Where is she? Come on. Come on, where are you? Usually means it's like in a different area, like above it or below it or whatever. Are you coming? She's somewhere. Right, let me see if we can... Pull one of these guys through at a time. Oh, they're both coming through. There she goes. She's appeared. Oh, you got Katana. Right, they're down. Right, now we can get her buffed up. Eh, nothing much on there. Let me see. So we'll put the cork, put cooked pork grinds in, and she just seems to eat them by herself. Then we'll put the salted pork use and then we'll put the grey lotus potion use there we go so she's fully buffed up now 25 percent 15 percent and another 15 percent okay so we continue through here and it opens up there we go found the wine cellar as it opens through this broken wall into this giant chasm that is the wine cellar dungeon and we work our way down the path so those of you who haven't been here before, it's kind of split into two sections. So this first section here is full of Relic Hunter Treasure Seekers. And then there's that area over there that's full of, like, undead things. Right. Let me see. There's a bunch over there. What is there, three of them over there? Let's see if I can... No ammo. Here, have some of that ammo. Nope, nope, you're not getting, you're not getting staggered, no. Nope. But I am bleeding, was I? No, not anymore. Okay. Uh, nothing exciting, nothing exciting. And nothing exciting. Right, so we are on the lookout. We will always be on the lookout for the little, small, sort of relic chests. Let me see if I can find any. There's normal chests. You get pretty decent loot in, in here. Uh, I'm going to need my glow stick. To... Oh, there's nothing there. Mm, gold and silver. E to interact with what? Oh, that book there. 
bunch of books telling you the little bit of story about what's going on down here. Right, there's none there, so we'll we'll head on. Work our way down. Another relic hunter treasure seeker over there. Oh, there she goes. Uh, there's one. There's one of these little chests, and if we click that, you get some Kahare steel. So, Kahare steel is something that you'll gather quite a lot. Well, you won't gather a lot of, but you need to gather as much as you can. Because hopefully when we get to the end, we'll get some nice recipes that we'll be able to make stuff with. So, it's hidden like round corners all over the place. So, if you are coming in here, it's worth your while going round and looking about. You'll get some off of the mini-bosses as well. Uh, I'm not going to spend an awful lot of time today. There's one of the another mini boss over there, one of the human ones, like you get in the unnamed city. So let's take these guys out. And yeah, the randomly spawning bosses that you get over here. Yeah, one skull boss. This one is any other searcher. And down she goes. They can obviously drop the Silent Legion armor, Grandmaster Weapon Repair Kit, so Concentrated Aloe, we'll take that. Gold Coins and Armor Repair Kit. Put them down there, screaming. So let's have a quick look around here. There's just normal chests, gold and silver. Yeah, you could get quite a lot of gold and silver around here. She's just making a noise across the bridge to the undead part. And thank you, Delincia. Nothing much there. Right, now we have to jump across this broken bridge and we have to get her to come with us. So I'm going to put her follow distance on lowest. Right, so you can see there's a broken bridge, but you can just run and jump across it. Not a problem, hit that light. Then I'm going to come over here to try and get her to teleport. She hasn't teleported yet. Alright, calm down. Dear me, that last break goes right through my shield. I'm not getting a gap to get a fight on him. There we go. And you go. Oh, now she's appeared. Right, so it is really dark, but there are these little torches that you can E on to light, light it up with some blue light. There was one back here as well. I must have missed that. And it kind of kind of also is handy to tell you, because this is a bit of a maze, this place, so it's quite good to light them all up to tell you where you've been, so you know where to where to go next. Oh, there's some stutter wraps, we'll take that. Okay, on we go. Another bridge. This one is not broken. Right, let's see if we can send the Lindsay in. You see there's an undead serpent man guy over there. And you get skeletons coming out of the ground as well. So you see I've, I've got rid of my uh, venom infused axe and I've taken a, a kitted up Hargan steel mace because there's lots of skeletons and undead in here. So the armor pen is very, very useful indeed. Oh, careful not to fall off backwards. You the wrong fight. Animated remains. Undead lizard man, yeah. There we go. Okay, uh, nothing. Oh, 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 oh. That's breaking right through my shield. Okay, down they go. Right, did I see something of interest? Uh, yep, we want any healing we can get. That's, well, the decent healing anyway. Right, so yes, there's another light here. 
guy down that way. You you can, like I say, you can hide, find chests hidden around all the back of here. All over the place. So if you want to do a good search, you get as much chests and goodies. So like there's a normal chest with silver in it. More skellies. One more in the corner. There you go. So you got momentum still. Uh, yes, she's ro she's rocking momentum. So the best one-handed mace in the game. There's another torch there. Somebody is. I heard something. Oh, there, there we go. Getting plenty of that. Let's take some of that healing just to get topped up. Right, so we're heading in this kind of direction. There's another one of those undead. And see that skeleton come out of the ground? Another skelly over here. One of the other reasons why we don't want to come off the beaten track. There's some treasure, some nice, nice stuff, but yeah, not what not what we're here for today is just because it's so dark out there. If I kind of follow the main roads a bit better, it's hopefully a bit easier to see. There we go. Any torches around here? Nope. Okay, we're coming up to the first mini boss now. Oh. Can we get through there? And Delincia get through there? We sneaked underneath. There's a torch there. There she comes. Oh, there's the mini boss. He's pulled. So Delincia's ran past them. Let me get the torch. There we go. So he's one of those big guys. But they hit so, so hard. Okay, she's not doing it. She's not doing anything to Lincia with our massive armor and our HP pool, but it would do a lot of damage to us. Right, down he goes. Uh, so he's got some Kahari steel, he's got a fragment of power, a weapon repair kit, and some food. And he came from over here, so Delincia must have ran round, so he's like praying at this well. It's all damaged. Uh, again, there should be... There's a torch around here somewhere. Where is it? There's one across the bridge there. Maybe there isn't. No, I can't see one around here. I thought there was one around here, but there's one over here. This is the kind of direction we need to go now. Cross the bridge. Again, there's a couple of chests all around there. It'll have some goodies in it. Are you pulling from all the way up there? Nothing on yet. Right, so we're up this hill. Weave our way up. You can maybe see in the distance a undead shale back. Right, let me light this area up. Take you out. Take you out. Right, so if we come up, we want to go in that direction eventually, but if we go over here, you can see. There are quite a few of these undead shieldbacks. And in that cave over there, there is a three skull one. Won't you come in for me? You probably don't want to do that. Rotted Hulk, it's called. Uh, there's a skeleton firing at us from somewhere over here. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, it's down already. Valencia's annihilated him. Ah, oh, and he's got it. So he drops the Kahare water skin. So if we take across that, sealed leather skin for storing water. Now it says durability of 10, but when you take a drink from it, uh, if we use it, instead of going down by 1, it goes down by 0.4. So you get uh, three times as much water out of it, basically. So it's it lasts a lot longer. Uh, we go down into his cave. There's a chest, more gold and stuff in it. Uh, we go, we'll go up the river, we'll follow the river up instead of going up the path up there, because there is more undead shieldbacks and stuff up here. They're fighting with a white. I don't think they have anything on them. Uh, another gate up here. Another chest with some fur in it. Can't get through that gate. We can come back here. And back up onto the, the path again. There's where, where we came up the light. Right, so we want to go along here. Watch out for the guy with the hammer. Well, they're actually called White of Kahari. Mistiness. So, so again, there's side side paths to investigate all over the place. Looking for uh, treasure chests, both the small one with the Kahari steel in it and the bigger ones with normal stuff in it. There you go. We're okay for wraps and stuff. Uh, right. There's another torch. I'll light that up. Is there anything in here? Just chests. Uh, path over that way. There we go. Oh, oh, watch out. So if you got your weapon out, it would be more useful. Uh, right, so it's round this corner. Here. No, it's not. Oh, but there is a little Kahari steel thing. It must be round the next bit. Okay. Back to the back to the main road. Follow it. So creepy in here, these skeletons coming out of the ground in the mist. Ah, yes, here we are. Right, there is the next boss. Take you. Oh, okay, we want to see how to deal with him. Oh, he knocked me into the next week. He's got the pokey stick. There he goes. Oh, he had a bow on him. Pristine Kahari bow. So that's one of the Kahari weapons, but it's a pristine version, so it's slightly better. Okay, it's 29 damage. What have we got here? 34 with 9. Yeah, so it's not as good as what we've got. But more fragment of power and more Kahari steel. Guy around there. Okay, let me have a look around here. Is it down this way? Yes, okay. So we come over the other side and we cross this little suspension bridge and in amongst the mist of here you can see the glowing red of the next boss. Really difficult to see. Two-handed hammer guy. There he goes. Right, let's light it up. 
no weapons, but we've got another fragment in Kahari steel. And a bunch of... there's more... Found a relic fragment, did it say? Hmm, okay. So we've got a... Is that a fragment of power? What have we got? Crystalline arm, hardened steel bars, composite obsidian. Oh, there's some star metal. Lance cores, of course. And this one here. Another fragment of power. Oh, that is... Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I wasn't aware of these being loot chests here. I've only taken four keys with me because I believe there's four chests at the end of the... of the dungeon. But there's two here. The Unintelligible. And Mistborn. Awesome. That's both really good. Obviously, the Mistborn is the heat protection shield, and Unintelligible, a really good one-handed. Although the description is, of course, unintelligible. But 63 with 29 armor pen. Pretty, pretty damn good. Okay, that's interesting. I wasn't aware that they were still here. Right, where's the way out? There's a bridge over here. We're heading back across the bridge out here. This is a dead end over here. Right, on towards the next one. So that means we've only got two keys left for the end of the dungeon now. So, here you go. Down you go. Light up the light. Uh, now I have to be careful around here. In case the... Here we go, we're back on. Or we're going back. This is where you get turned around, you see, you get lost. That's the bridge. And we're wanting to head for... This way? Nope, we've been here. This is where we came up. That is the where the shale back is. There's the dead shale back. So it is in this direction. We're aiming for that. See that waterfall over there? That's our kind of ultimate end goal. So... If you can find that, that's kind of the way you want to go to. So we'll come along here. Okay. And then we turn this way. That's the bridge down there. So it's this way. Nope. I've... Have I got myself totally lost? Ah, here we go. Here we go. This is the way we want to go. Down you go. Light that up. And then we'll go across the bridge. Yes, this is the road you have to be careful because one of the bosses is just off to the right there and you can end up pulling him along with a bunch of other people. I think he's kind of just round that corner. You have to kind of ease it in so you don't get caught up in too much trouble at the same time. Oh, he's got the good the good healing stuff on him. Yeah, just the okay healing stuff. Alright, try right along here. Right, he's coming this way. Back up. Okay. And I think he's... Yes, you can see the red glow. There he is. Let's pull him. In fact, is there a... Okay, we've pulled him. Let's get a bit of space. Get that guy. That's it. Then. Irritate Perk takes over and gets a hold of him. He's AOE two handed. He's actually doing some damage to Delincia there. 
down to 86%. Right, some more Kahari steel, a pristine Kahari sword, another Kahari weapon, and another fragment of power. Okay. Onward we go. Again, feel free to hunt in all these different side side streets and nooks and crannies to find loot. Come on, down you go. Oh, kind of missing all the blue. There we go, right. Right. So now we're heading up this ramp. Uh, I don't think that takes you anywhere exciting, but if we come up here, it should split in two. Here we go. So. The left path takes you to the final boss. The right path takes you into this little cave. And this is a spider cave. Hello, spider. Lots of spiders. Black widows. Yellow widows. Another yellow widow. What are you, black? Yep, black widow. And there is a demon spider. Let's take out these black widows first. Oh, there's a red one in there as well. Alright, here comes the, the demon one. So. Of course, there's a demon one elsewhere on the map where, where you learn the Zath religion. I can't remember what that skittering hollow or something like that is called. And it is the big demon thing that will then spew out clouds of corruption. That there. This doesn't really do much in the way of damage, but it just stunlocks you like that for a, for a bit. Okay, down you go. Right, so you had some hardened steel, more lance cores, hardened steel. Oh, there's another normal spider there as well. And some steel reinforcements. Do we get a key? We did. We got another key off of you. So we're up to three. I uh, don't want the kite in the ichor or the bone. Because there used to be a legendary chest in the back of her cave here, or its cave, should I say. But they're not, they're just all normal ones now. Uh, yep, goodies, nice goodies. Is that all? Oh, there's another one. Some lotus potions and stuff. Uh, yeah, but the legendary one has moved out of this room and has gone to the, the end boss. Which we'll head to now, so we're out back out of the cave, running back. Back to that split in the road. Yeah, I'm going to take a bit of food, and I'm going to take some water. Take a little bit more water. Get all topped up for the end. Right, here we are. We're back at the split in the road again. So right into the cave, left to the end boss. Up we come. Oh, there's a torch. Put that on just for good measure. Uh, and it's the split to the right here, and there we go. Doom. The very ominous music. Or if it's classic music, and there will be a bunch of people coming out of the ground. You can just kind of see, just gently see the weapons lying on the ground. And as you get close, up they come. But we've got a couple of archers and a, a white. Oh. down. You go down. And then patrolling here are some undead serpent guys. I think there are two of them. Mooching about somewhere. Yeah, there we go. There's the two of them. They're quite often they'll be down the side and come running up to you. 
Undead Lizard Man, not Serpent Man. Oh, three! That was close. Okay, and then into here for the last boss. One of the hardest bosses, if not the hardest boss in the game. Actually has some mechanics that you have to do, as well as just lumping them dead. Right, you come in here, don't go upstairs. If, if you're playing multiplayer and there's more than one of you in here, you might think, well, some can go upstairs and arch down, but you get blocked off when you're upstairs. You can't, you can't, I don't think you can even do archery, but you can't get back in here. But, uh, so yeah, best to be in this room. And then we're going to light these fires. And when we light the last fire... Thag will spawn. 24,500 HP. And there he is. So, let's get going on him. So, first phase, pretty simple. Not helping that Delincia is getting knocked on her butt all the time. But yeah, the, he the damage he's doing compared to the healing she's got, she's going straight back. Right, here we go. 66%, he's teleported in the middle, and you get this blue pattern on the floor. Get out of the blue. Otherwise you get thrown up into air like that, and then you're stun-locked. Okay. Right. So back on to him again. Oop. Let me get my heel back all the way up, because we'll need our health as much as we can. Oh, he says getting hit by him again. I wonder, can I block you? He's down to 39%. Right, he's got to teleport to the middle again. And this time we get a bunch no, we get a bunch of white as well as the blue stuff. So oh 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 get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Deary me. Right, come on, don't you? Get them, get them for me. Right. Right, she's back on him again. Can you go on to these guys, please? I want to kind of keep these as low as possible. Otherwise, at the end, it becomes an absolute nightmare. Right, because here we go. You spawn more in. And keep on the blue. Keep on out of the blue, even. So, oh, we've got to get stuck in the blue. There we go. Right, again, I need to get her to clear these guys out. Get some of you. Okay. Let's heal up. Oh. Why are we? Oh. He's down. Okay. Oh well, that went better than I thought it was going to be. Right, these guys might have a bunch of loot that you might want to, to peel away. Let me see. Nothing particular. I'll take the good healing potions, of course. The other other ones despawned already. They must have. Uh, okay, right. Where's the boss? So he... Oh, nice! He got the Hammer of Thag, so there's a low chance of getting one of his weapons. There's a couple of weapons he can have, but it's quite a low chance of getting them. You've 
very rarely see it. The Hammer of Thag, which I think is what he was actually using in that battle. 65 damage, 45 armor pen, it's corrupted, it does sunder, but you also get this scroll, and you'll get random scrolls that'll be either the different armors or different weapons, and that's what you need the Kahari steel for. He's also got an Argosian brazier. Do you get a key off of him? Bone, putrid meat, witchfire powder. Uh, so no, you don't get a key off of him. Get rid of the bone, get rid of that, keep that. Okay, right, so that's where we came in. This has now opened where you get out. And as you can see, there are four legendary treasure chests here. So I brought the four keys thinking you needed the four keys for these ones, but actually used two of them previously. So we're actually going to be one key short now. So Tolwar of Armour, whatever that is. Bleh, sword, meh. Another Mistmorn? What? <laughs> and which one will we open? We'll open that one. Another Tulwar. Okay, and then we don't have a key to open that one. That's a shame. Damn. Oh well. Right, so there we go. We've completed that journey step. So if we come out here... Let's get out of the dungeon. We've appeared at the side there is the tavern over there. That's where we went in. Into this door here. And we came out on that door over there. So we're back outside. Conan's tavern. Here he is. We're back here again. Right. So, journey step. A dungeon delver. We get the ranger armor. Claim that reward. Right. Let's... I'm going to head back to base, and then we're going to get that armor crafted so I can show you how cool this armor is. Okay, see you very soon. Okay, so here we are, back at base, and I've crafted up. This is the ranger armor that is the reward from the Dungeon Delver journey step. So it's a, it's a pretty good looking set of armor, although I'm not too taken by the boots. The... The wrist guards are okay, but those those boots I'm not too sure about. But the rest of it is good. But let's have a let's have a quick look and see what it does. It is light armor. It says it's medium armor here, but if you look at the armor values, it's clearly light armor. By default, it's uh, I think six percent uh, agility weapon damage and five stamina plus five stamina. But with our tier four crafter, we've put it up to eight and seven. Uh, and that's on each piece. So I think it's like, if if not the highest agility damage, it's certainly it's certainly well up there. Uh, but yeah, it's it's light armor, unfortunately. So you're not gonna get an awful lot of protection. Uh, we've only got 200. Oh, so it shows light armor there, but although it says medium on the individual pieces. But yeah, you just have to look at the armor value to see. So there we go. That's that. Uh, I've also crafted a set of the Kahari armor and put it on this dummy here. Also, light armor. Um, I think it does 3% agility and 15 plus 15 carry capacity on the head, wrists, and feet. And the, the legs and the chest just do 3% agility damage. Again, that's been boosted up slightly by our, our tier 4 crafter. But uh, it's also a... Uh, it's a slightly weird set. Let me just borrow that mask for a minute. Put it on. Yeah, so it has actually got like a... a cloth face on it. Very weird. But then with like a, almost a, a spidery type creature thing. But yeah, quite cool. Quite cool mask. I like, I like it. Uh, and then it's got like the anklets with the leather straps and then the... the cool bracelets. So that's an also a, a nice armor set. Oh, no, I need to put my own mask on and give you give you your helmet back. There you go. But yeah, that's just on a on a dummy. But there we go. That's that'll do it for today. That was the last of the Dungeon Delver journey steps. That was the wine cellar dungeon. Um probably all in the hardest dungeon in the game because there's those undead 
mini bosses that you fight on the way they hit so hard that it uh it well, i've certainly been killed by them on multiple times before and then that la last boss fight when you've got to avoid the blue marks on the floor and you've got all those whites chasing after you at the same time as well as thag himself to take down with twenty four and a half thousand hp that can be a hard fight and i have certainly died to that one before as well but yep yeah, that'll do for today that is the the journey steps complete for the dungeon delver and that's the wine cellar dungeon um i hope you enjoyed that video if you did please hit the like button hit subscribe and i'll see you in the next episode bye now